a prototype of a new controller. This final look will be people change, so I want to stress this is an engineering prototype. But it has a variety of buttons and internal motion sensors, but its most distinctive and cool feature is the glowing sphere on the end that the PlayStation 9 can track. Imagine you're playing an RPG game, you choose fire at the ball spell, the color in your hand changes, and then you throw the capture spell. Rather than listen to me just talk about it, let's get started showing you some tech demos of what this thing can do. We're not going to show any video at all. Everything you're going to see is live technology demonstration. Anton's going to demo, and I'm going to explain what's happening on, on screen. Hey, guys. So actually, I want to point out, on the sides up here, you can see video from different angles of Anton as he plays. So this first demo, what we have is like a, te a virtual television set with a PlayStation Eye, just like we have set up here on stage. So you can see when Anton moves the controller here, the controller moves one-to-one -one just as he moves. In order to let you see this better, Anton, if you could uh, turn on the video on the television there, we're putting the PlayStation Eyes video on this virtual TV. So you can see as Anton moves, it moves exactly as he moves. This is true one-to-one -one tracking. This is the first time we've ever been able to do this. And we can show this better than anyone else because we have the video from the PlayStation Eye. That racket is actually in the virtual world. It's in Anton's hand. Still harsh. So, of course, <laughs> so sports, sports are kind of a no-brainer, but you can hold anything in your hand. I do want to point out, notice how fast this tracking motion is.
Another thing that's really difficult to do in a virtual world is drawing. And in particular, writing requires extreme precision. The tip of that pencil that Anton's using is being tracked at sub-millimeter accuracy. shows off the precision really well, but for something a little more artistic, and Tom's going to move on to some more uh, paint brushes here, he's actually metering out the amount of paint that's being put on the canvas using the analog trigger right now. Nice. For something like a spray paint can, the angle actually matters in what he's doing here. Ooh, ripping right down the wall there, nice. First, you know, if you just want to mess around. So drawing is a kind of fundamental capability, but it doesn't have to be used literally. You can use it instead, say, to lay out a path of objects. Follow that. No, don't try again. Better. <laughs> Other things that use drawing are selection. Selection is one of the keys to something like a real-time strategy game. Finally, we have an interface on a console that lets us do real-time strategy. Here you can see Anton's lassoing troops, and then he draws a path for them to follow. You can imagine using this for other kinds of games, like football. You can draw out the route for a wide receiver to follow. First-person shooter here. We are going to show first-person shooter what's Anton. Awesome. All right. Anton's going to set up the next demo. And we're going to shift gears here a little bit. We're going to step out of our, our, our room here and move into a, a virtual arena. And we're going to show you some character control, actually. So as you can see here, my motions are not directly onto the character. When I move my, my sword and shield, he moves them exactly as I do. Hey, everybody. Of course, this is no good if you can't do anything. So we've all seen lots of demos with swords and shields before, but the kind of precision the Anton's getting here with the tip of that sword is just crazy. Of course, we can go on standard moves and just high, low, deep, high. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> The tension on the string matters, so the farther up 